Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm doing a couch comparison. I've had this series for a while, but I haven't been doing it consistently. I'm not at my couch, but that's what the series is called. So I am comparing two different lipsticks. Urban Decay's lipstick, this is a metallic lipstick, and the Maybelline metallic lipstick. And I don't know if you can hear my voice, but my voice is uh, quite froggy. I think I'm just having like allergy problems. Um, so bear with me, I'll probably be cutting out the times that I cough, but I wanted to get this video out and I was actually mentioning the facts in my previous video, which I will have up here and I will have it linked down below in the description bar. I mentioned that Maybelline had a new metallic lipstick line and I was saying how, you know, I think that a lot of companies when they're under the same umbrella that they kind of put out the same kinds of products. So I wanted to see if Urban Decay's lipstick is the same as Maybelline's. Maybelline and Urban Decay are under the same umbrella. So I picked up this Urban Decay lipstick. This is in the shade Sancho and it is metalized. So it's kind of interesting that they call this a metalized lipstick and then they call the uh, Maybelline lipstick and metallic lipstick. There are some similarities between the two lipsticks, so let's go ahead and dive into the differences and the similarities. So first I wanted to dive into the formula and I took a look at both formulas. So there were nine ingredients that were similar, but they were in a completely different order. So I don't know if you know much about um, ingredient lists but they always list ingredients from greatest to least. So whatever they have the most amount of by weight, then they will list that ingredient first. And then whatever's last is the least ingredient. I found that there were nine ingredients that were similar, but like I said, they were in completely different orders, so it means that the formulas are completely different. Now between the Urban Decay lipsticks themselves, each lipstick has a different formula in of itself as far as some are more overtly metallic and then some of them are a little bit more uh, not as obvious. So I am wearing Sancho right now and up close you can kind of see the uh, metallic sheen. There's kind of, it feels like, it looks like it's kind of glittery but there's no actual glitter particles. I don't know how to explain it but it's a lot more subtle. So Urban Decay, as I was looking through their particular ingredient list, they had a lot more, I don't want to say higher end oils, they did have things like olive oil and jojoba oil in this product, so I thought that was incredible, not something that they really advertise for the lipstick, but it does make it much creamier and uh, it melts on the lips a lot easier. Um, I wore this actually when I went swimming and I didn't have any feathering or anything like that. Now, I do not put on lip liners with my lipsticks just because it's just a personal preference. I know that uh, putting on a lip liner helps with the wearability of a lipstick, but I, am, I don't spend a lot of time on my lips. I want a lipstick that's going to be able to apply very easily and I can go and I don't have to worry about it getting on my teeth or uh, feathering around my lips. So I actually went swimming with this lipstick on and it didn't feather on my lips and it didn't smear and I was jumping in the water quite often. I didn't do a waterproof test with the Maybelline lipstick, but I will say that it's a really nice lipstick. I haven't had any problems with it and it does feel very moisturizing on the lips. With the Maybelline lipstick, the ingredients were a lot more, I don't want to say cheap, it's, it's just like, I don't know how to explain it. There were a lot more chemicals, and by chemicals I mean like, you know, not plant-based items in there. They, had, they have beeswax in here, and they also have honey uh, further down in the ingredient list, so it's not a lot of honey, there is honey in it. And with this particular lipstick, it is $7.49. There was feathering around my lips when I wore this lipstick, and I've worn it a few times now. Uh, so it kind of bleeds around my lips. And like I said, I don't wear lip liners with this. I don't feel like I need, I should have to wear a lip liner with a lipstick in order for it to work properly. But I could just tell the quality was a lot different. And then um, when I would move my lips together, I could feel the glitter. Now with the Urban Decay, I can... 
I feel a little bit of grittiness, um, but I could I feel a little bit more grittiness with this Maybelline lipstick. Just the way that it sat on my lips was a little bit different. And the glitter is more obvious because it's metallic, and that's more of what I'm used to, is being able to know, like, oh, she has, like, this metallic lipstick on. But with the Urban Decay lipstick, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more subtle with this particular formula with Sancho. I know there's a couple of other lipsticks that are more metallic than this, and then there's one that has more of a shimmer. So the formula is different enough between the two that I would say Urban Decay wins for the formula for me personally. So secondly, the wearability. I already touched on this. Urban Decay wears a lot better than the Maybelline lipstick and you are paying more for that uh, quality, I would say for that wearability. Um, it is much better in the wearability. And then as far as the feel, the feel is much creamier in this. Urban Decay lipstick, uh, the feels a little bit lighter. I can definitely tell that I am wearing lipstick when I wear the Maybelline lipstick, but the Maybelline lipstick is not bad. It's just, you know, you can tell that you're wearing it. The price is vastly different between the two products, obviously. I mean, you are paying for a little bit better quality packaging. The bullet is just a little bit more... Um, durable it feels more durable not that it's actually more durable um, and then you have this really cool top and when you push down it has a clear snap for it to close the Maybelline um, packaging is a lot cheaper uh, it's a lot more plasticky feeling um, it's very basic and the cover is also very basic there is a snap to it so you know that's really important to you it feels slightly less secure when you close it. With this, it takes a little bit more effort to open and close it. Uh, but honestly, I am fine with the price being cheaper if, you know, the packaging is a little bit less fancy. That's not really something that I am interested in. I will say that you get less products in the Urban Decay. I don't know if you can tell from the bullet. Let's see. Okay, so side by side, yeah, you can't really tell. But the Urban Decay lipstick has 0.11 ounces, and the Maybelline lipstick has 0.15 ounces. So a little bit more product, but um, the price difference is so uh, so various, like $7.49 for the Maybelline, and then the Urban Decay lipstick is $17. So, you know... If you are really, 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 really on a budget, I think this is a good product and it's going to last you quite a while. And uh, if you have no problems with feeling a slight grittiness when you smack your lips together, then I would say uh, that the Maybelline is the more affordable choice and it's not like so bad. The feathering can be uh, remedied with wearing a lip liner, but you know, that's not me. And then Urban Decay is just going to be the better quality option. If you are able to spend $17 or you have saved up $17 and you can go get that, then I would recommend the Urban Decay more just because the quality is a lot better and there's a lot better uh, nourishing oils in the lipstick. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this comparison. Let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer Urban Decay or do you prefer uh, the Maybelline products? Is there a different metallic lipstick that you prefer better? And do you think that there's a metallic lipstick that performs better than these two lipsticks? If so, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your recommendations. And I hope that you guys have an awesome day, a wonderful week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!